So a viewer went ahead and asked if I can help him with this problem. Now, this would be a substitution problem, and that's the way I'm going to go ahead and solve it. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. And then we have y is equal to 2x. So when we get a substitution problem like this, um, it, it might seem a little confusing, but to be honest with you, this is probably one that's a little bit easier than most. And the reason why is because you already have a variable that's by itself. As you can see, the y here is by itself. So what substitution is really saying is, um, I'm going to go ahead and write this problem right here. I'm going to rewrite it. 2x plus 3. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this y out. I'm going to just remove it. And instead, I'm going to replace it with parentheses, just to give you guys an idea of what we're doing with substitution. So everything's the same. Now, the neat thing with substitution is that if y is equal to 2x, then we can say 2x is also equal to y. So instead of putting a y here, I'm going to go ahead and put the 2x. And what that does now is that it allows me to work with just one variable. I know you're probably saying, well, there's two variables here, but it's one of the same variables, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're going to go ahead and do 2x plus... Well, what's 3 times 2x? That's 6x. And that would be equal to 8. So then when we go ahead and add here, we have 8x is equal to 8. And now, um, I'm going to go ahead and write this up here again. So we have 8x equals 8. And when we solve for x, we want to go ahead and divide everything by 8. That cancels out. x is equal to 1, because 8 over 8 is 1. So that's the answer for x. So now, how do we solve for y? Well, what you're going to do to solve for y is you're going to go ahead and plug in what x is equal to into the next equation. So we have y is equal to 2 times 1, because most times on homework tests, quizzes, or anything, I like to say anything, because sometimes I don't know what teachers give out, pop quizzes, challenge problems, um, you're going to want to solve for x and y. So now, y is equal to 2 times 1, which means y is equal to 2. So our answer here, uh, we can write it in uh, a coordinate point. Uh, we can say 1 and 2, x being 1 and y being 2. And that would be your answer. Your answer is, y is or x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2.